pausing well on a on a on a very on a very like surface issue it's causing massive economic distortion in our economy uh, because the tar sands have become the major e uh, economic driver for Canada um, we've seen you know our economy become more and more dependent on a finite uh, singular industry uh, which for those of you that studied economics you know is a one-way road to Dutch uh, the Dutch disease um, and we're seeing the impacts of that already here in southern Ontario and, and, and in Quebec with the loss of hundreds of thousands of jobs in the manufacturing sector and why are those jobs disappearing well they're disappearing because of the fact that you know our biggest trading partner the United States of America when they want to buy cars when they want to buy textiles when they want to buy you know goods and services um, why would they buy them from us when our dollar is trading at parity with the US greenback when they can go to Mexico or any other of their partners that they've got you know free trade deals with and get it for cheaper you know especially when they're in a time of austerity as well you know and so you know we've seen a tremendous amount of inflation that is occurring across the country because of the tar sands. Our dollar is now dependent on the price of oil. Um, we've seen, you know, a time when the Canadian economy was always, for the last century, a hundred uh, or sorry, 50 percent above manufacturing jobs. Now it's 50 percent above retail jobs, and we know the difference between a retail job and a a, a uh, manufacturing job is about fifteen dollars in income extended health care benefits you know um, and you know if you're working in retail out of a manufacturing job chances are you probably have to work sixteen hours a day now and have two retail jobs just to have the same quality of life that you had working in the manufacturing sector and so all of that is important to take into consideration it's something that makes this of a very significant issue to many Canadians but I think fundamentally across the planet the world over you know a far more compelling issue aside from the ecological impacts the contributions to climate change that tar sands provides given that it's two to three times more carbon intensive than conventional fuels uh, aside from the fact that it's you know devastated tens of thousands or actually hundreds of thousands of jobs at this point three to four hundred thousand jobs even more potentially um, at this point of you know middle-class Canadians um, are the critical human rights uh, considerations that need to be thought about the tar sands of course is in northern Alberta but represents a massive hard wiring into the North American economy by big oil for the next hundred years represented uh, by hard lines of, of pipelines and shipping lanes and refineries 35 refineries across the lower 48 US couple in eastern Canada uh, half a dozen pipelines four of them being major oil pipelines 